What is up guys? It's Tony Holiday. So I've been listening to a lot of Korean music for the last like, I wanna say three years or so. And one of the artists that I've really gotten into is BB. Today we're gonna be making a beat for BB and we're gonna do it all in Logic Pro. I think she has a very um, unique sound and it's very defined to her. It doesn't necessarily reflect any other sound. We're gonna try and emulate that. We're gonna get into Logic. We're gonna do that today. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna jump into Logic and we're gonna make a beat for BB. Let's go. All right, so the song that I'm kind of thinking of emulating on this one is Bad, Sad, and Mad. Uh, by BB, obviously. It's a faster paced song, but it has some cool trap drums to it. It has a bit of a cute element to it, but there's a bit of a dark side to it too. So we're gonna try and emulate that. Let's get into Logic and start doing that. I'm going to up the tempo to 175. And let's get out an electric piano. Let's do the Whirly Classic. I also have some ideas for some chords, but I probably won't be able to play them on the piano. Uh, in real time, so I'm gonna mess around for a second, but we'll probably end up drawing them in. So let's check this out. Yeah, I like that. So let's draw this in. And because the tempo is so fast, we're gonna make it actually an eight bar loop versus a four bar here. Do G minor. Let's add a little bit of reverb too. And I think a flanger will be cool. I think right here too, we can do a little something. Yeah, that's cool. I've actually been really messing around with um, Astro, the new synth from Splice. Let's try some pads here. Vital, I've been using this one a lot too. Get it at Vital Audio. Comes with a bunch of great free presets. Echo Soundworks has a really great preset bank for it. I like it, highly recommend it, and it's free. Now for this part, what I wanna do is get rid of these last two. I'm gonna highlight all these notes here, and then just grab them, and then I'm gonna hold Shift Option, and they'll all be the same length like that. I'm gonna start this out with like a mallet. Shift option, drag that back so the same length. So let's get rid of this Solomon MIDI, we'll copy that up. It's kind of nice, it chops it up, it gives some rhythm to the melody. Let's do a little more processing on this. For this Solomon key, the one that's in Vital, I'm gonna throw on a M Rhythmizer. If you don't know what M Rhythmizer is, it's kind of like the third party version of Grosspeed. So M Rhythmizer is basically like the same style of plugin, except you have to buy it on top of it. It's made by Melder Production. You can use it in Logic Pro, Ableton, whatever. So it's basically like a Grosspeed for other DAWs. So it's manipulating the time at the end here. I'll turn the dry wet down. So you can still hear the original through the background a little bit, but the majority of it is run through the processor here. Let's, uh, let's make a track stack of this. So we'll sum that up. We will EQ the low end, because we're gonna be putting some drums. Let's make some room in here for this. I 
All right, so just ran some basic processing on that. It's basically just these two long chords here to make the eight bar loop. And then these two kind of mallet slash marimbas for rhythmic melody, I guess. Is I just put it through a summing stack, EQ'd out the low, put a compressor on. So this is what this sounds like, melody. We're gonna listen to this and then we're gonna move on to the drums. Pretty basic melody, but that's kind of what I'm aiming for here. I love the kind of strong female vocalists that do this, where the beat is super simple. It adds just what it needs to, to the actual song. And then the vocalist just takes it away from there. And I think that they've done a really good job with BB doing this. Let's do some drums. I'll probably come back and do a couple more things with this. Let's do this Tori. It's just subtle. All right, so we've got some basic drums picked out. Let's start making a pattern now. You go back to 32 and then you do 64, it'll duplicate this page. So that's on the next one. Then you can just make subtle little changes and then it's super easy from there. The second part here, and I'll just make some subtle changes to it. Let's listen to this back, make sure that we like the drum pattern, then we'll move on to the 808. I feel like the kick is maybe a little busy. We can maybe take out like that. So what I'll do is I will um, highlight this and I'll go convert to MIDI region. Next up, what I will do is separate by note pitch. And then what I'll do is go in and do the 808. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know I like doing my 808 in a higher octave. I can match the pitch easier to the key of the song that way, and then I'll drop it down afterwards. So this part might be annoying, but then we'll drop it down to the bass in just a moment. So we're gonna highlight all these notes by doing Command A, then we're gonna do Shift Option Down, and that will make sure that we're lower. And then what we can do too is do Force Legato by again, Shift and Forward Slash, and that will extend all of the notes to the beginning of the next note without any overlap. Let's just do some quick volume leveling on these drums here. Let's do some quick rolls on these hi-hats too. So we'll grab the 16th note. Let's not forget to sidechain the kick. That Tory kick on Sound Playground actually smacks. One thing I forgot to do to the hi-hats too here. I got caught up in those rules. So we'll select all by pressing Command A, Functions, MIDI Transform, Humanize, take the length through operate only, do it maybe twice. And then last, we'll do another uh, force legato just to make sure the notes aren't overlapping. I think it's missing something down here, which I'm gonna do on this. I know what I want it to sound like.
So what I did is I just added this tiny little portion at the end here. So at this point, I just gave it kind of like a basic little mix. I arranged it just into like a little intro and then it'll drop right into the hook slash chorus. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I had a lot of fun making that beats. I've been listening to BB a lot over the last couple months. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, give me suggestions for more artists to make beats that sound like, or just beats in general, like smooth guitar or more piano beats. Whatever you guys want, please leave it in the comments and hopefully I'll get around to it or see if I can emulate something to make a beat like you want. Make sure to subscribe to me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. That's It's Tony Holiday. But yeah, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.